Hello everyone. I hope, you guys are doing well. It's been a while, since I released my last DIY electronics project video. So today, I'll create a very cheap and easy project with the SP1, and DHT22 sensor module. But, what can be created with these two components? Let's find out. This ESP module works almost similarly like Node MCU boards. But, it has fewer I.O. pins. My plan is, I'll use the DHT sensor module with the ESP module, and monitor the data by using Blink app. Blink combines a cloud IoT platform, so, the ESP module will send the data to the server, and we'll receive it to our phone by using the Blink app. And, internet connection is required for this operation. Anyway, I'll upload the code into the ESP module using the ESP programmer. Note that, IO0 pin has to be connected to the ground pin of ESP module, while connecting it to the computer. This will put the ESP module into programming mode. Now, I'll upload the code. Before uploading, few things has to be set. At first, we've to install all the required libraries, then, the auth token, Wi-Fi name and password has to be set. I've done it already. And yes, virtual pin 5 is used for humidity, and 6 is used for temperature. Now, I'll upload the code. After uploading the code, I'll simply connect the DHT22 module with the ESP module. Just the data pin of the DHT module will be connected to the GPIO2 pin of the ESP module. Note that, the ESP module has to be powered with 3.3 volts, and the DHT module can also operate on 3.3 volts. After making our device ready, I'll set the Blink app to receive, and show the temperature and humidity. In the Blink app, I'll add two gauges to show the temperature and humidity separately. The DHT22 module can measure temperature from minus 50 to 125 degrees Celsius. So, I'll set the gauges minimum value minus 50 and maximum value 125. Then, I'll set the virtual pin 6 as the input for temperature. Like the way, I set the gauge for temperature, I'll also set this one for humidity. I'll set the gauges minimum value 0, and maximum value 100. Then, I'll set the virtual pin 5 as the input for humidity. To make it look good, I'll add a super chart. This will show the temperature, and humidity together. Moreover, by the help of this super chart, we can see the history of previous hours temperature and humidity.
After setting up the blink, I'll power the device. I'll power both DHT22 and ESP module with 3.3 volts. Two AA or AAA batteries can be used to power them. Looks like our device is working perfectly. I think, this small device is very compact solution to measure living room temperature and humidity. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Stay innovative.